Austin's throwing up. Like, what is going on? Sit so you have to like pry their eye open and put the cream in the like for a cat. Can I let me dish your stuff on a vontade? Manda foto sinto gosto e apago. Finge que eu nunca tô na maldade. Mas na minha mente só eu sei a verdade. Sendo aquele que dá tranquilidade. Good morning, y'all. It is a lovely Thursday morning. I am headed back to the house. I had to drop Blake off. And of course, on the way home, I hear Mom, hurry up, come back soon. Austin's throwing up. Just what every mother wants to hear. So now I get to go home and clean that up. Yay. Make sure he's good, clean him up, and then get everybody ready. I gotta take the cat to the vet at 9.40. Dylan has therapy at 11. It's gonna be a lovely day. I need to get back home, fold laundry, try to figure out what we're gonna do for dinner. Obviously, stop by the store and get him like Pedialyte or something. I don't know, I have to assess the situation. Depending, last night his throat was really, really red, so he might be going to the doctor. I don't know what we're gonna do, but um, yeah. Happy Thursday. All right, guys, we are back from the vet, and let me prop you up here so that I'm not moving around. I found if I prop you up here, it's still good lighting. So we are back from the vet. <sighs> so what I thought, what we initially thought were allergies because he just had that liquidy water. Actually, as a matter of fact, I'm sure I can show you what his eye does because I'm always cleaning up these little bitty brown droplets. I bet there's somebody's food. Let me show you. TMI, if you don't want to see it, it's nothing gross. It's just, uh, let's see. So like here, I, I wipe this thing at least three or four times a day. And so like when he'll shake his head, these little brown droplets will come on the wall or on the floor or somewhere. And so at first, when we took him in May, they said it was just allergies. They gave him some medicine, something with a T, I can't remember. You put it in their eye and it got better. Everything went great, which is crazy because they gave us a similar medicine this time. This one is azithromycin, I think. But it's so weird because, let me show you. It's not drops, it's like cream. So you have to like pry their eye open and put the cream in the, like, for a cat. Luckily my cat doesn't scratch or anything, but anyways, that's what we have to do two times a day. So they gave him some more medicine. Um, I wish it would have been drops, but this is what we're gonna do. Cause the reason I wish it would be drops is because I feel like when I put this in, once he bleaks, the cream stuff like kind of comes out. He, it like flushes out. So I just feel like it just never stays in there. Anyways, I'm rambling as always. So they gave him these antibiotics cause he has, does have an infection in that eye. However, now he has to have surgery. Yeah, he has something called a atropion, a trip, something like that. I'll put it on the screen he has. And it's where his eyelid is like flipped in and it's like growing inside of his eye and the eyelashes are turned in and whatever, whatever. He also has like a herpes complex something. It's not contagious to kids or people or anything, but 
it can be contagious to animals so that's what these are for um and so apparently it's very uncomfortable and that's what's causing the eye discharge so he does have to have surgery he has to be on this for seven days first and then we'll go back and he'll have the surgery y'all vet bills I gotta get some of that pet insurance stuff. Now, I see here with the pet insurance, you still have to pay up front and then they will reimburse you. But man, vet bills, it went from $55, which is what the office visit is, to like $240, like that. He hasn't even had the surgery yet. So I don't even wanna see what that's gonna be like. But at the end of the day, pets are people too. This is my baby, so he's gonna get everything that he needs. Um, so after he has the surgery, it's like, I think she's like maybe a five day downtime they'll put them on stuff to keep them calm she also recommended getting those feli away you know the little adapter things i keep in the wall to keep him calm we don't have like a stressful house so like he's not stressed here the kids are he's he's chill but she says you know for him to have that in his eye for him not to be like aggressive or anything she's amazed because it is quite uncomfortable but like i said that cat has never even hissed he doesn't scratch he doesn't he is just the most chill calm loving when the kids cry he runs up to them and you know canoodles them and it's just a good cat so i'm so like i'm really really uh i feel bad that we waited this long but i'm so glad that now we know what it is because the first diagnosis was not right so make sure you get second opinions and third opinions especially if your cat keeps going through things what we thought was allergies now the darn cat needs surgery hmm. but we're gonna take care of our baby he's gonna be fine Today, Austin actually is under the weather as well. So when I just went up there, poor baby is sleeping. Now, if you know my son, he does not take naps. So I could tell that he does not feel well. I even asked him, like, do you want McDonald's? No, oh, I'm like, you, you don't want a burger? No, so I can tell he doesn't feel well. I'm gonna pick up Blake from work in a little bit. And if he's still running a fever, cause I gave him medicine, so he shouldn't still be running a fever, but he is. Then we're just gonna take him to the urgent care. Cause I had strep a lot as a kid and he's had it a couple times and Blake had it a lot as a kid. So I just think he's one of those ones like we were a carrier, but I rebuked that in the mighty name of Jesus, he's covered by the blood and he is healed. So the doctors know what they're doing when it comes to antibiotics and things like that. I'm not going to sit and let him suffer for the sake of, oh, just let it pass. No, he's going to get some relief. That's my baby. He's in pain. So I'm going to let him sleep it off for right now when I pick up his dad and They'll go to the urgent care. We're just gonna chill. We took a day off today from homeschool, which is great, which is another reason why I love it because we're not tied down to this eight hour schedule where I gotta get them up at six and no matter what, you gotta go to school and blah, blah, blah. No, I will swear by homeschool every single day of my life because if we need to take a break, then usually we don't have school on Friday. We'll just have school tomorrow. Guess what? If he's not feeling well tomorrow, we won't have school tomorrow. We'll wait and we'll just double up on Monday. Either way, it gets done because we homeschool year round. It's not like they're just going for eight or nine months. They go year round. They'll be done by the time they're 16. They're all ahead in different areas. They're all below in different areas. It just depends. Like Austin, his, he's really te technically in third grade, but his math is like fifth grade. So Dylan is technically in second grade. Her reading is at, at the kindergarten first grade level now because she has apraxia but her math is second grade so you know i love homeschool because of the flexibility of being able to actually teach them on their level instead of them just trying to keep up in this rat race that goes on in public school or private school or whatever but you if you send your kids to school there's no you know no tea no shade towards you that's just it doesn't work for us my kids are all at different levels and i love that i have the flexibility to be able to teach them and meet them where they are so with that being said, mama needs some lunch, so let's eat. Que nada, ela me deixou só ficar na vontade. Manda foto, sinto gosto e apago. Finge que eu nunca tô na maldade. Mas na minha mente só eu sei a verdade. Sendo aquele que dá tranquilidade.